So when uh, you've opened up an estimate and start to fill it out, you're presented with uh, this screen here with these options. And really, you're just going to want to kind of work your way down the whole thing. Um, so the first one is the introduction, which will just be blank. And I, I, this can be probably pretty much the same across all your customers, just a hello. Um, one thing as well is you can use uh, voice to text. So wherever you have that microphone on your keyboard, um, if you click and hold that. Hello, Mr. Smith, here's your quote for a new boiler. There you go, pretty easy, save that. Estimate body is gonna be more so um, the detailed description of the works that you're gonna uh, be quoting for. Install a new boiler and remove the old boiler. Oh, that'll be fine for now, uh, save that. Next is the price. So it defaults to this breakdown here, but actually if you click on that, you can change it to a breakdown by category. I mean, no breakdown, it's just a total. Breakdown by category is your parts and labor. Uh, and then that's if you're gonna be itemizing those categories. So I'll just choose parts and labor for now. And that's saved. Uh, the next is the invoice schedule, which you don't have to worry about, but you do just have to come in uh, so that the system recognizes that that is going to be the amount you're going to be invoicing for, and then save it. That's it. Uh, next, if you come to send it to the customer, you can have a preview of the actual document. Um, you can also email it out, and if you email it out, uh, you'll see, you will actually see, not on my test account here, but you'll see there's actually a link um, that the customer can can view the, the quote or accept it online. You just click in there, any email addresses that you have saved against that uh, property will be there, or you can always just type in a, a new email address and send that out. If the customer is just happy to accept uh, right then and there, you can come into accept and reject. Um, select the option that's going to be accepted, and then you can choose accept here, and the customer can actually sign off on it uh, while you're there. So you can pass that over to them, and they can sign up. Oops. And they can hit that accept button themselves. And that's it.